Hello world. Another Saturday night at the Bondi. Patricia O'Connor, Frida Reba Darcy at my side. I'm at my Bondi table. I have uh, moments away from kicking the camera as I tend to do. And our mission tonight is to take this little Japanese black pine and put it in this little glazed pot. Um, before we do that, we'll of course add a screen to it and then we'll put some wire to it and then we'll water it in really good. And uh, so here we go. This is the, this is Saturday night Saturday Night Bonsai. Um, I'm probably not going to play this on Saturday night because that would, uh, it's not live. One, it's not live or I would be doing this live already. And two, by the time uh, I would have a second chance to release this, it will be quite late. So uh, it will probably finish on its own and then we will drop this manana. So yeah, that is, can I enlarge that a little? Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, I can. Let's just go right about there. It's probably about where I already had it. And let's see what we're doing, how we're doing that. Yeah, I could take a little off that. So yeah, I bought, um, a, a whole bunch of screen uh, when I was at work and uh, it was leftovers from where we put uh, we rescreen uh, other people's screens for their homes see I work in a hardware store and that's that is something that we do we do something else that I do every once in a while. Uh, got this, I'm not much for using, reusing wire, but uh, this wire is, uh, this is what I'm gonna wire the tree in with, so I don't mind. It's the right gauge for what I'm doing with it. And I've grabbed one end of it on a pair of pliers, I've grabbed another end of it with a pair of pliers, and you just kind of go, cool, cool. And that's how you get your, no slide of hand here, that's how you get your curled up wire to get straight again. So that will be good enough to uh, do, do that little pretzel thing that uh, we sometimes do when we're making our little uh, curly cues. For bonsai pots. There we go. And then we'll go that way. Like yo. And like yo. And then we'll cut that off. And that leaves us a little frog foot shape that we can then. Uh, put through the hundred million holes in this tiny little, I'm not complaining, these guys were great. Look at all those. There was real, literally a hundred million holes in there. So we do, we started it off like that. And then we're going to uh, bend that wire down, pick uh, another one of these hundred million holes and uh, poke this little wire through that screen down into one of them. Uh, wish I could see what I was doing. So yeah, uh, earlier today we I did a video uh, where we just went out to the balcony and saw what was going on with our pine trees and uh, with our little Shohin 
bougainvillea uh that little tropical tree uh started from a cutting it's there i had that looking i had that looking a little better no that came out okay yeah that came out pretty good so we've got our screen in the bottom and now we've got these two little guys and we'll give we'll give that a nice little so there we go that's our pot and that's our little frog foot in the bottom of it to make sure our screen stays in place and then we still have um this hundred million miles of uh wire to wire down this mighty uh japanese black pine and uh then uh, after i've wired it down into the pot uh I will also uh, wrap the trunk and we'll probably put a little bit of motion into it. Maybe not, I don't know, we might not go too crazy, but uh, we'll put a little bit of motion into it. Right now, I'm not too overly concerned with the uh, roots. Uh, I got these trees under a week ago, uh, planted them, planted these little plugs in this in these milk cartons early in the week i would not expect the roots to escape these plugs at all frankly if any uh i'm just gonna do it this way yeah we'll just do that let's do that and start breaking some of this stuff out and then I'm going to, this will uncover the, this will uncover this little plug I got going there. And um, this soil and this soil that's in there, same deal, came from another tree that wasn't in its milk carton, but a few days. It was just like they were in there long enough for that just to be kind of a, look at there. We did have that much root already happening. I'm so proud of you guys are just kicking butt. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We'll go. We've got a little bit of a start going on there now. There we go. Maybe a little more substrate in there, just a little bit. Yeah. Now what I would like to do is Take some of this wire and you see this guy right here. We'll cut off cut off a good sized chunk of it. And you see that angle? I'm putting a little bit of a angle in there. That way I'm going to be cutting off. Uh, that'll make the wire sharp on one end, kind of like needle pointed. On one end, which will uh make it a little easier so yeah let's yeah that's a good height seeing if i was happy overly happy sort of happy with my wire length i you know what i'm not i just chickened out i would rather cut that longer and have it be too long and then have to cut it shorter, potentially wasting wire, then run that through that. Uh, I know, I know, I know I'm being anal retentive, but uh, if I cut that too short or just through, you know, then I would have to back it all the way back out and start over. And I would rather just cut it too long to begin with and then cut it to the right, like I'm doing now. So yeah, no harm, no foul. That will be a good length for in a minute when uh that'll be a good link for that in a minute when i wire the trunk now both of i didn't want to do that go this way also would like to not just totally mangle this little root ball called the plug in this in this state it's called a little plug 
I'm going to try to keep our little plug happy. Appearing tonight, Mr. Mister, go back to your room there, little Mr. Mister. Okay, that is just uh, more bad humor than anybody had signed up for. Find all, come on, baby. I know with all those holes. It seemed like, uh, it wouldn't have been. Oh, you know what? I could have, I could have gone the other way with that. In fact, I probably should have. Yeah, 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 don't do that. It's because it's going to be impossible to find that hole, uh, going the other way. It'd be much easier to find one this way. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on through there. You go. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be like six uh, or seven extra miles of wire, but that's okay, as, as predicted earlier. Now... earlier we also need to um, pick a front for our pot two feet two feet I think this is the front right here Go all the way around and, and decide again. Yeah, I think I think that's the same spot. That's what I like. Right. We're gonna call this the front right here. And I think our pot's ready. Yeah. Where are we at? All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side. Readjust. Okay. Now, that with me doing a, a, a big personal move in of me too. So, a little substrate out of the way, which way? That's the front. Yeah. 
We're gonna go that way. shows. I know it shows, but it'll be okay, I think. Can I get a little bit more? Get a little bit more wrap on this. Probably shouldn't have went with these angle pliers, but I didn't want to use my blue ones because this is wet dirt. Okay, that was good though. That was good. I'm gonna go with the blue ones anyway to make the cut. Now, that is, that is in there, as they say. All right. We have more a little bit more work to do here, but that has got us, that's got us started. I'm only going up with this one to the needles. Voila. Don't straighten it, Pat. This is probably a little big. This could also be in um, finer granules of uh, of this same substrate or final finer granules of uh, Akadama. But um, I think this this is Boone mix, which is going to be uh, pumice and Akadama and lava so yeah i'm just gonna go back in there get back in there you got a little bit of motion in this guy to start off with where are we at probably could take that 
probably could take that around a little more. And I am bending and twisting at the same time, so I'm trying to get more than one motion going per bend. And also, the wire goes this way, and the bends are going that way. That one could also probably be cool if it went down. Uh, looking, let's see, I'm looking for a for a set of pliers that I like. These are my cutters. I don't want those. I don't want those. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are you guys at? Alright. I'm going to go with my second. You'll do. Now... I did that a lot easier than I would have been able to do that. Trying to put that much compression in a very small spot with my fingertips. That little bit of a bend down that I just did right there could be more. Okay. Twist and shout. Agua Fria. Okay, let's see.
I am it's in there really well it's got plenty of it's got soil to grow in and around it's in a pretty little handmade uh, Japanese pot we've selected a front we've added screen to the pot and uh, wired this little tree in And that's that's it. That's what we did this Saturday night. Could probably clean up these needles some, but tell you what, we're just gonna call that. We can do that anytime. We can do that anytime. We're just gonna let that try to settle in right now and see how it. Focus, 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 and we're gonna see how that. See how that does. So yeah. Uh, Start to finish, we, uh, mistakes and all, 26 minutes. Not bad, not bad a little, not bad a little start to this tree. And that's something that, uh, all of this part here that's up high, that will, uh, be uncovered roots at some point, which will add to the direction of the tree. Uh, that root mass will be going like this this way and we will be able to see that at some point that was kind of the point in leaving half of that uncovered but leaving it uh but not exposing the roots totally in other words they're still underneath that dirt at some point when there's more roots going down here and this is all full uh that'll be uh exposed and we'll be able to see all those cool roots bending and twisting and that will start to bark over and look like and that will look very much like part of the tree as she drifts the camera out of frame so yeah uh that's our little guy that's a little that's a little show hen on saturday night and this will we'll probably drop this we'll probably drop this tomorrow uh not the tree the video we'll probably drop the video tomorrow Focus, 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 focus. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe if you guys have not already. And uh, we'll continue to do more uh, Japanese black pine work. We're also going to do uh, some work with our ponderosa pines. We'll also be doing some work with our bald cypress trees that we love so much. And of course, our oak trees that we have going so yeah that's kind of that's kind of this one i'm pretty happy with that as a start um i like that it's up and down and around and not just a, uh and not just a spiral or a corkscrew or something so yeah that's the way trees look whenever they have uh multiple directions uh sun <clears throat> wearing on them one way snow wearing on them another and wind coming out of another direction, we, we see trees that are twisted and bent around looking like that. And they are absolutely uh, one of the really cool things that sometimes nature does and uh, sometimes bonsai enthusiasts do too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys continue to have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Like and subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate you. And Frida Riva Darcy appreciates you and says hello.